It came out recently or a little while ago that you were that a real steel Disney Plus series is a possibility. It's in development. Uh, there was nothing but positive reaction to this news when it hit. Were you a little bit surprised at the level of interest? What, what, yes. when I, I mean, I'll interrupt you. I literally, I was sitting at the Adam Project mix the day that story broke. And I'm looking at the dozens and dozens of sites that picked up that story. A story about a possible show based on a movie from a decade ago. It got more traction than some stories that are about new business or more recent movies. And it was just confirmation of what I have felt on Twitter specifically for years, which is that people have a love for Real Steel that is certainly enduring, but very personal to them, very emotional for them. And uh, and so I was already excited about this, this possibility of developing that world via a series form for Disney Plus. But the way that story took off was like, final proof that, oh, wow, the love is still there. The interest is still there. Now I just got to tell the right story in the right way. Well, my question is when something like that happens, because obviously the studios read the sites and they see what people are writing. Obviously there was interest behind the scenes in the series, but when it explodes like that online and everyone's talking about it, do you all of a sudden get a vibe from the studios? Like, are they calling, like, is there more movement on something like that when all of a sudden the reaction is so positive? I wouldn't say that you feel that immediate uptick of interest on the part of the studio. Uh, that may eventually be the case in the form of how much of a budget do they give the show. But where you really felt it, where I felt it was prior to that, we were slowly reaching out to some agents and writers. Hey, you want to write a real steel series? The day that story broke, we shifted into what we call the incoming call business which is the business of you're sitting back and your phone's ringing and it's just incoming calls. And it's agents one after another saying, my writer is dying to write it. Can you meet with my writer? My writer has an idea. And so it shifted the dynamic of the search for a writer and a take. And it just became a lot easier because suddenly the volunteers and the ideas were flowing our way. Um, is there any movement in terms of having a writer or any sort of like, do you think it could be filming it can't be filming this year. Do you think it could it be, can't filming? be filming this year? We have now had several actual writer pitch meetings. We are narrowing down the search and the ideas behind the take. There's a lot of different ways to go. And it's a little bit daunting because a lot of those ways are valid and cool. And which one is the right one? I'll go back to something I said in our Adam Project interview. I'm just going to have to go with my gut about what is the right one because there is no objective arbiter of right and wrong. And, and so uh, I don't think we're going to know because even once we pick our writer, we're then opening a room. We're breaking a whole season of television. So it's, it's more of a process, um, but we are definitely making good headway now. And the way the news broke and took off has been a big boon to the writer search.